look at people running to and fro so busy but they got no Shit! Shit, no! Ugh. Jesus Christ, sis. You think you could clean up after yourself? Mm. Sorry if my work is such an inconvenience to you. Hey, Mickey. What do you think? I don't like to brag, but I am pretty impressed with myself on this one. It looks great. Take off your shoes, please. I literally cannot believe this shit. One of the Smith kids spit up all over me. How the hell am I gonna get this shit out? This is my favorite shirt. Why are you holding your phone like that? What do you mean? What's the point? Ah, uh, Nikki, do you think that I can take good selfies with throw up all over my shirt? I have to crop it out manually. Uh, I will never understand why you need to take a selfie in the first place, but I digress. Oh, uh, hey, Ronnie! What's up? Hey, don't forget to take off your shoes. Yeah, I'm okay. Hey, listen, I'm sorry that I'm late, man. Don't worry. I dropped my phone in the toilet at work today. What? Yeah, I, I wanted, when I left, I wanted to go to the Sprint store, and uh, I got there, and it was midnight, and the store was already closed. Yeah, I fucking hate working doubles. Well, hey, at least you're out of that hellhole. Uh, remind me again, uh, why do you work there? Because, you know, you need food to survive, Mickey. You know, uh, yeah. Hey, Joe. How you doing? Hey, I'm on Tennessee. Paulina, nice to see you. tell you guys about uh, Charlie's party last weekend? No, but I'm sure you're going to. Is it a good story? The best. Oh, that's what he always says. The best. Like somehow every new story is something the whole world needs to hear. If it wasn't a good story, he wouldn't have brought it up. Let the man speak. Okay, so as you all know, Charlie threw this party last weekend. It was a couple days after Thanksgiving. He called it like Dranksgiving or something clever like that. <laughs> anyway, shit was bananas. There was girls, there was booze, there was coke everywhere. And we were partying all night long. Well, until about 1.30 in the morning when it started to die down and um, all of a sudden, it ended up being like around two-ish. It was just me, 
Charlie, and he's like two broads that he knew from college or whatever, and uh, I shit you not, I think their names were Denise and Cherise or something absurd like that. <laughs> anyway, they were complete bimbos. So we're sitting there in Charlie's room, and uh, there's about a gram and a half of blow just chilling on the table, and Charlie goes, listen, we need to finish all of this tonight. Are you guys up for the challenge? And, well, you know me, I can never say no to a good time, so I was like, bring it on. And so for the next two hours, Charlie and I entered a winter wonderland. I mean, we were skiing down the proverbial slopes, and these girls, and they were struggling to keep up. <laughs> anyway, about a gram and a half a blow later, it was, uh, it was getting late, and I can tell that these girls wanted to, you know, have some fun. So, uh, as fate would have it, as uh, destiny would decree, me and Charlie both got laid that night. We woke up in the morning, we high-fived, okay, that's fine. And he even gave me all of this free cocaine, which, you know, is conveniently what I'm doing right now. <laughs> Well, isn't that the feel-good story of the century? I'm glad you had a good weekend, buddy, but uh, don't you think you should slow down on the cocaine? What the hell was that? I don't know, it sounded like it was from downstairs. No, it's probably just one of those books that fell off your big bookcase downstairs, Mickey. It's no fucking bookcase, Joe. There's somebody down there. This is definitely going on. Fuck Snapchat. There's somebody downstairs. Mickey, do you have any weapons so we can defend ourselves? Whoever these guys are, they cut the telephone wires. Uh, I need to see your cell phone. I need to call 911. I don't know where it is, Mickey. I gotta find it. or anything? Yeah, none that we can use. What the fuck does that mean? Any steak knife or whatever will do, just so we're not sitting ducks here. I'm not letting you use my kitchen knives as weapons, Ron. They're expensive. Fuck expensive? There are people downstairs trying to kill us. You could use the broom. Yeah, perfect, yeah. Huh? You use this one to protect yourself. Are you out of your mind? Oh my god, my good broom! They're coming up for us. I'm not going down without a fight. You guys go and hide in the bathroom. I'm gonna go confront them. Charlie, you son of a bitch! I'm coming down there! What the fuck do you want from me? Holy shit, this is going viral.